What's up, guys? Real quick, I got a quick story to tell you. I had a friend of mine, good friend of mine. Uh, he works a job with a female that he really likes, and he was asking me advice about her. And he's been talking to me a long time about her, and I've been telling him to make his move, make his move, and he didn't. So what ended up happening? And the girl showed that he liked, she liked him and stuff like that from what he was telling me. And uh, he was asking me my advice and I told him, I said, you gotta, if you want it, you gotta get on it. And you gotta ask, you gotta let her know you like her and stuff. He was playing kind of like the friendly role. Long story short, a new guy came into the job and uh, what do you think I'm gonna say next? <laughs> uh, good looking dude uh, telling her what he wanted to know. And he was, he was up front and straightforward and he asked her on a date and, and the girls accepted. The female, real pretty female too. He showed me a picture of her and he, and he waited, right? And I told him, I said, look, bro. I said, y you can't wait, right? Because this, this is a very competitive world we live in, right? Um, there's competition everywhere in this world, especially in the marketplace. But you have to have a competitive advantage, right? You gotta find that competitive advantage. And how do you do that? There's lots of ways to do that. I say that to say this, guys. Uh, in the economic market, in our in our life and everything else, we have to find an advantage, and I believe we do have one. And let me tell you what it is: it's 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 the, the advantage of having the knowledge and the wherewithal what's going on. First of all, is silver, uh, gold, platinum, Bitcoin stackers, whatever you guys your flavor is. Um, we have an advantage because we know that silver and gold is the only true money in the world. We know that. The general population doesn't. They don't know what a bit, you know, what a Bitcoin is and stuff like that. Some people do a little bit, but they don't understand what a real hard asset is like silver, gold, and platinum. They don't know that, and you do. That's the first thing that you have an advantage over the general po population. The next thing is you know something's wrong in the world today. We know that there may be some kind of civil something going on, because there's so many differences right now with the with the with the jab and people that don't wearing the mask, not wearing the mask, people that support Trump that don't, black lives matters versus blue lives matters, Republicans, Democrats, blacks, whites, feminists versus males, you name it. It's just, they're doing everything they can to what? Divide and conquer, we talked about that. So that's another competitive advantage that you have that the other people don't. Also, you guys know that we're in the everything bubble. You guys know it. What's the everything bubble? Everything is inflated. Look at the car market. You can't get a used car right now without paying an arm and a leg. The three major markets, the housing market is in a bubble, the bond market is in a bubble, and the equity market, the, you know, the stocks, the equity market is in a bubble. And we know this, and that's another advantage we have, right? And I tell people all the time, you gotta take advantage of those uh, head, head starts or uh, advantages that you have in the marketplace, those competitive advantages. And you gotta do that, right? So how do we do that? People think that just because you know about something, um, that's good, it doesn't. Applied knowledge is the way, not just knowledge, right? So you have to apply that. So how do we apply that to the everything bubble? Well, what I did personally uh, is I got out of the stock market. Now I'm not saying all stocks are bad, right? Cause some stocks are gonna flourish through this, right? But for the most part, you look at these these numbers and they're like, wow, normally you're worth $100 a share, but now you're $250 a share? Nah. Um, so I got out of that and I, and I put a lot of that into, into my metals, right? Because here's why, it's a seesaw. Once this bubble pops in the housing market, because there's no way I'm gonna buy any cars, uh, any, any, any houses or any stocks right now when the price is high. Because remember, um, I'm a value investor and so are you. Uh, we buy when it's low, when everybody else is selling and vice versa, right? So what are we gonna do? When that bubble bursts, because it will burst, that's our advantage, mind you. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit back and, the, and the, the cash that we have on the side, the dry powder and our precious metals, we're not gonna sell them all, but the precious metals, when this bu bubble pops, the precious metals gonna go down too. We know that just like it did in March. Uh, but what happened after March? They went up, they almost doubled. Silver almost doubled, basically did. Went from 14, 15, 16 to 29, 30 almost. And now it's hovering around the mid 20s normally, right? So what are we gonna do? When that $100 stock that was at 250 
burst down, I'm not gonna say it's gonna go to zero, but it goes down to 40 or 30 or 35 or whatever, we're gonna take some of that cash and take some of that silver and buy some. If a house is worth 100 grand and now it's at, on the market for 280,000, we know it's not worth that. And then the, and the market crashes and it goes down to 60,000 bucks, we'll buy it because we know it's gonna be worth more later on. We buy, thing at a dis buy things at a discount, but we use our silver and gold, which will go up in value, by the way, after a while, to purchase those real assets that we just talked about. That's the advantage that we have, guys. My friend, I love him to death, but he didn't take advantage of his, of his competitive advantage. And what was that advantage? He knew her first, she liked him. Uh, I think she was waiting on him to take, make a move, but he didn't, he didn't, he just sat back and chilled. Even though he knew that she liked him, he didn't take it, he didn't take advantage. So then somebody else came in and swooped it up. Uh, if you don't buy more silver and gold, if you don't get out of the stock market, if you don't sell your house while it's high right now, um, you're not taking advantage of the advantages that you know you have. If you don't stockpile the things that you need just in case something happens, mind you. Because remember, your competitive advantage, if you know that a crash is coming or SHTF hits the fan, you can get your stuff now while it's cheap and you don't have to worry about going into the stores when it's all empty and everybody else is going crazy. That's your competitive advantage, right? But like my friend, now he's stuck because he's like the guy who didn't prepare and, and get the canned foods and the generators and all that. Now he has no food. He's stuck at home in the dark. Don't have anything to protect himself like Mr. Wesson and Mr. Smith and not in that order. And now that guy swooped in and took that girl from him. And I say that to say this, don't let that happen to you, right? Don't be like my friend and, t and didn't take advantage of his uh, competitive advantage. Uh, I know you guys will do that. Uh, we gotta, the way we do that is we gotta keep on stacking, right? Like I said, you stack the knowledge and you stack all the essentials you need and keep being smarter about what's going on here, all right? It's almost like a, a replica of, t of 1929, uh, the Great Depression in the 2008, 2007, nine housing crash, right? But I'm gonna tell you something, this is gonna be more like the depression, maybe worse. I, I truly believe that, man. And if you believe it like I do, do me a favor and make sure you take advantage of that competitive advantage. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this video. What are you gonna do? What's your advantage? And what are you gonna do to capitalize on that? Please, guys, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Do me a favor, guys. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button only if you like it, all right? If you like my channel and my videos, go ahead and share them. Guys, am I sharing stuff with you? I think I am, all right? On a serious note, guys, take advantage of what you know, all right? Don't just know it and sit back. Do what you gotta do every single day, all right? If you gotta run around and pretend, even, even some days for two days, you gotta pretend like there's no power and stuff. What are you gonna do? Really, do it, all right? And get your family and everything prepared, just like firefighters do. They pretend like there's a fire, so when it, and they practice really hard, just like teams do, so that when the game time comes or the real situation comes, you'll be ready. All right, please do that for me, guys. And let me know in the comment section below what you guys are gonna do, all right? You guys have a wonderful uh, evening or day whenever you watch this, and I'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Peace and love.